In this section, we are going to look at the modal API. We will discuss creating a controller to display a page and creating a block that triggers a modal. In this video, we will create our controller. We will look at what we want to accomplish with a modal, how to write a controller, and working with image fields. We have already created book pages that reference products. We manage the display so that those pages don't show the products they reference. What we want to accomplish is that when we view a book page that references a product, a block will appear on the page that provides thumbnails of the product images. If we click a product image thumbnail, it opens a modal with a large version of the product image. The first thing we need to do is to create a controller that generates a page that displays a particular image for a product. We need this page because that is what is going to ultimately be displayed in a modal. We start our controller class with the typical declarations of namespace and use statements. Then we extend the controller base class. Our class contains just one method, which is responsible for creating our page. Take note that our method expects two arguments. The first argument is the node. By type hinting, with the node interface, we are telling Symfony that we want the fully loaded node object. The second argument is the delta for the image. For this pass of this module, we are going to take care of our logic directly in our method, which means that we will be referencing specific field names from our product content type. The end result we will be returning is a render array. You can learn more about render arrays in the appendix. There are two possibilities. The product object contains an image with the specified delta, or it does not. If we find an image, we specify that we want it displayed using the product large image preset. If we do not find an image, we return a notice. We have finished defining our controller, but it won't do anything until we give a way for Drupal to call it. As with our other modules, we will need our info YAML file. It will look pretty similar to the others we have written. The way we define a path on which to display our page is with a routing YAML file. The first line specifies our route name. As you might guess, the path key specifies the path. Our path contains the placeholder variables node and delta, which correspond to the two arguments that will be passed to our method that defines the page. In the defaults key, we specify the subkeys that let Symfony know which controller and method to use at the path and what the page title is supposed to be. Finally, in the requirements key, we specify the permission to check to see if a user is allowed to view the page. Since we won't be covering writing tests until later in the course, we will now enable our module and make sure that our page does display as we expect. We can test a path name that should display an image. Just remember that we must use zero based indexes. Let's also check what happens when we request an image that should not exist. Great, our page displays the way that we want it to.